everyone, we're back with another vanilla tutorial and we are on unique tools specifically for or created for uh, the friendly mobs you can use. So we are going to start off with the lead, which is a very useful tool, especially when you're trying to move around uh, friendly mobs like a sheep that we have here. So how you make it is you need four string in these pattern and a slime ball. This is not something that you're going to be able to generally get at the beginning of Minecraft unless you're very very lucky or you're cheating. <laughs> and you can then grab the lead to make it easier. You can just break that and you right click in the direction of the mob and you can just walk around. If you go too fast it will end up um, uh, dropping the lead eventually. So you have to be aware and then you can right click on a fence and it ties it up. Which is pretty funny in my opinion. So uh, Another way you can lead creatures is the carrot on a stick. So in the last video I showed you how to make a fishing pole uh, and then you just need a carrot and it creates this. And I believe it's that pattern. And now I can't recall if it doesn't work. It only works with animals that like carrots. Mainly pigs. <laughs> but um it is not super reliable either. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of just an extra. It's fairly useless in my opinion. Now with saddles and also I put armor next to it as well. Uh, you can't create it in Minecraft. Um, in some mods you can create it, but vanilla you can't. This is something you would find in dungeons or in chests uh, if you're lucky in like a village. But basically you can get. Uh, armor or um, a saddle usually. Uh, you can use these with horses or donkeys as you can see. If You have to first obviously tame the donkey or horse and with the donkey you push R like you're going into your usual inventory and it only has one slot for a saddle. Now <laughs> with a horse it's got two. Uh, you can put a saddle and armor in and that is how it looks. It's kind of cute. It's more aesthetic because I honestly don't know too many people who actually use uh, animals to fight. I just I have never seen it. <laughs> I'm not saying it doesn't happen but it's just it's an oddity. <laughs> now tags are another thing uh, that are used for a variety of things but with animals it's very um, useful. And this is another thing that you end up finding it's a drop. Um, I'll show you how to use it real quick. You need an anvil. So this is again not one of those things that is right off the bat. Now you need some experience uh, to be able to name it but let's see oh. uh, let's just say peanut. I'll show you the other stuff I was going to type shortly. And it comes out. Oh, wait. I grabbed it from the wrong spot. <laughs> so that's actually very useful to know. Uh, peanut. And then you take it out of this end, and it will use up however much experience. Longer name, longer. You know, it is. And then you right click. <laughs> and that's what you can do with it. Now. These are two unique Grom and Dinner Bone. Um, I could have put this in the unique tag video, but I decided to keep it here. So with Dinner Bone, yep, that's what happens. And Grom does the same thing. <laughs> and writing them, you're just writing them upside down. Fun. <laughs> 
Now that is it for this round of videos. Um, yeah, this is about it. Oh, and you can also take a saddle and put it on a peg to do one of the um, achievements is riding a pig off of a very high place and a carrot on a stick and the saddle is useful for this but you cannot without that carrot really create the pig to do anything to move on your behalf <laughs> it'll still just do whatever it wants so that is it for this round and I'll talk to you guys later bye